Good evening, Bishop Pastor Jen, over to you. Thank you, Lady Yvette. Thank you. And thank you for your patience. Those of you that have been early, always early, there will be a special reward from me to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Let me welcome you once again to another Wednesday night Bible study. Trust that you have your pens, your papers, a ready and a prepared heart, a teachable spirit and a ready mind. We welcome all those of you that are with us locally here in Jamaica, and those of you who we treasure abroad, the UK, Canada, US of A, and other places, islands of the sea, we welcome you. We're gonna ask Lady Jennifer to pray us into our time of study and redeem the time. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Let us pray. Heavenly Father and our God, how we treasure this time together as saints of the living God. How we treasure this time to draw close to you, to ask you to wash us afresh in the precious blood of Jesus, that blood which can never lose its power, that blood by which we are sealed to the day of redemption. Mighty God, as we come tonight, different challenges, different situations and circumstances, but we come under the banner of our Lord Jesus Christ. We come because we know that you are a shepherd, the good shepherd of the sheep and the bishop of our souls. Take charge, Holy Spirit, now of what we will speak. Take charge, Holy Spirit, of our homes, our lives, mold it into what you require. And to the end, we declare thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the washing of the water of your word that cleanses us from all contaminants, that we may appear before you clean and holy, for you are a holy God. Thank you, Lord. We submit our hearts to you. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. amen. Over to you, Bishop. We thank you so much. This evening, we want to shift our focus from where we have been over the last couple Wednesday night. We have been looking at uh, the book of Acts. We've been looking first at Acts 2, Model for Church. Uh, we covered several chapters from chapter 1 of the book of Acts all the way up to Acts chapter 7. And then we started to look at the Antioch church model for the 21st century and we looked at verse of chapter 8 through to chapter 15 of the book of acts and we learned of some dynamic principle for sure there but you would have noticed and appreciate the nation jamaica of late has been going through a severe brutal criminal activities, especially against our women, our young ladies, our young girls, even babies, spare none. And the men are not exempt, our boys, our son, our young men, the devil seem to have a satanic strategy, a wicked Idios unleashing of innocent blood, murder, oh, burning, yes. stabbings, mm. slitting of throats, burial in shallow graves, almost any and every parish mm -hmm. has become a part of that. 
and I know many of you who have been intercessors in this nation have seriously been at it, but many are questioning God, why? Why now? Why so blatantly against our women and the young, the promising, many of them innocent? Well, I want to share that I pray would be some insights tonight. Mm -hmm. And I want to look at the principle of restoration, biblical restoration. Uh, it is said that restoration uh, is seen as a term that means to put back, to bring back to original form, content, and intent, and to make things better than it was before. God, as we know, do have a serious doctrine of biblical restoration in his word, brought out clearly in many scriptures, one of which is St. John 10.10, 10. the thief, the robber, which we achieve such characteristics to the devil himself, comes only but to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, but I am come. My mission, my assignment is that I'm come into the world to give life and to give it more abundantly, better than it was before Adam messed up in the garden. And so I want us to note, number one, that repentance, however, precedes restoration. Thank you, Jesus. So if we're going to deal with restoration, and there's such a thing, we must first begin with repentance. We think of a scripture, Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. Scripture tell us, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Here are some principles. Humble themselves mm. and pray yes. and seek my face yes. uh, and turn mm. from their wicked ways. You mean God's people yes. can have wicked, mm. diabolic, Mm -hmm. pernicious, satanic ways that are evil, bad that we need to turn ultimately and resolutely away from, yes. Sometimes we have to take a deep retroactive, inspective, projective mm -hmm. step that we go back retroactively and look at our lives, examine our lives, take stock of ourselves. Why would a nation such as ours, and many nations, enter into such period of turmoil, conflict, mm. rage, anger, murder, hatred, killing, lawlessness, rebellion against God himself? Well, let's, let's consider these tonight because restoration means a lifestyle of change yes, from one condition, from mm. something to something else, to something better. And it is believed that when we fall from grace, we do need repentance, we do need change, reformation, yes. we do need information. Number one, God has a redemptive plan and a redemptive purpose for every nation upon the face of the earth. 
We could say for every man. But collectively, corporately, individually, God has a redemptive plan for you, for me, for us all. That's why when it came to the fullness of time in our lives, no matter where we were, what we were doing, where we were heading, God came yeah. redemptively. Mm. God came prophetically and he pulled us back. So God, think about it, has a redemptive plan, stroke, a redemptive purpose for every man, but for every nation. Yes. I wonder what you think God's redemptive plan and purpose is for Jamaica. Mm. Well, it's known. It's not like it was not known. Listen to this. In our national anthem, mm. which is a covenant with God, a total prayer from start to finish, written by a Methodist minister on his way back home from Guyana, South America, home meaning Jamaica. He wrote our national anthem, or the words thereof, that was adopted one over several other beautiful written anthem in 1962 and was adopted as the Jamaica National Anthem. That above 182 anthems worldwide, Jamaica stand tall and oh, top of them Lord, all yes. as a total prayer from yeah. start to finish yes. and was written by a minister of the gospel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to quiz us to find out if we know whom it was. Mm -hmm. But give ourselves some time. Not to look it up. <laughs> that would be cheated. But to stir up your memory. However, in it is stated our redemptive purpose as a nation and as a people under God. Jamaica's redemptive purpose is to advance the welfare or the well-being of every nation, yes. the whole world, mm. the whole nation of family, yes. a small people, 3.5 million. But we have taken on a covenant with God yes. that under God we would advance, increase, Pursue making every nation well be better mm. spiritually under God. That means our fathers before us, our fathers, fathers, fathers coming down to us, our generation, and to our children's generation. Yes. We would leave them a legacy that they would pursue every means necessary to advance the welfare and well-being, the peace and prosperity of every other nation. That makes Jamaica <laughs> an ambassador, mm -hmm. an evangelist, whether you teach in a schoolroom mm -hmm. or you preach from a pulpit or you work in corporate Jamaica, there's an anointing on your life, on our life all Jamaicans, and we ask God further to give us true leaders from above, righteous leaders, to give us justice, truth, and peace. Let that be ours forever. So don't worry. Mm. It's written. It's proclaimed every time we sing. Our national anthem. My Lord. Whether in a conference, a seminar, or a workshop, at school, as we teach our children. But what does that say about us? Positive and good, yes. Mm -hmm. But that simply also means there is a responsibility to live up to. Yeah. 
That's why we said looking back, mm. retrospection, looking inward, yes. introspection, looking forward, projection. The devil hates every one of us. Take it personally. My God. He does not like you, mm. nor I, because he wants to do everything to impact negatively on our well being because we have stepped up to the plate to say, as long as a Jamaican is around, he or she, our purpose is to advance the welfare okay. of every other people's nation, nationality, mm. creed, culture on the face of the earth. That's why wherever Jamaicans show up and go, mm. they are sometimes viewed as being aggressive, radical, intimidating, and sometimes we can be. Because we can turn that positive anointing mm -hmm. into a negative anointing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. We excel in sports. We excel in drama, entertainment. We excel in athletics, in boxing. Whatever physical, mental, social, spiritual arena we stand up in, Jamaicans mm. perform to the best of their ability. And they bring honor and credibility to this little island where one of the most newsworthy people upon the face of the earth, everybody has to know what's happening in Jamaica. They make it their point of duty. We have a culture that impacts all the cultures of the world. We are the cultural center and capital of the Caribbean, by no means stretch of the imagination. Japanese are down here trying to lock their hair. Jews <laughs> are down here trying to sing reggae. Mm -hmm. And to lock their hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Koreans are here. Europeans are here. Africans are here. Eritreans are in Canada trying to learn to talk Patois. Patois. Mm -hmm. Till sometimes they arrest some of the Africans thinking they are Jamaicans because they speak such perfect Patois, our dialect. Ethiopians, Ugandans, Nigerians, you name it, even Spanish, Latinos trying to speak Jamaica. But there's something about us that we don't fully appreciate about our culture, our name, our purpose, our destiny as a people. And when purpose is not known, time is wasted. Jesus. When we don't know our purpose, mm. we abuse it. Yes. We overuse it. Or we waste time. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of this message is to bring us back. And one Wednesday night is not going to do it. No. We're a proud people. Sometimes overly arrogant. But remember I said this. God has a redemptive purpose for every nation. Some nation knows it. Rule Britannica, rule. The sun never sets. sets and the British Empire. My God. And they run the world in the age mm. of the ships, the oceans. Mm. And today over 54 nations are a part of the British Commonwealth, meaning former colony of England. A little island. Mm run the world then My God. and God anointed them they brought forth the King James Version and mm -hmm. revival flowed mm -hmm. from Ireland Scotland Wales mm -hmm. they called England then the gateway mm -hmm. of Europe connected to the culture and people mm -hmm. of Europe several nations America came up after England 
and brought the Bible evangelism missionaries to the world and became the world policeman and first response. Several nations came into their destiny. Several nations have lived and died without even knowing their purpose mm. and are no more. But Jamaica, there's something about this nation. There's something. The devil wants badly Jamaica. My God. To disrupt the stability, the order, mm. the status quo. Mm? Too much bloodletting, staining our hands and our streets, threatening our children, especially the young and promising, especially our boys and our men. Link these statements. Every nation has a redemptive purpose under God. Jamaica's redemptive purpose is clear to advance the welfare of every other nation. Okay. We're never going to go, therefore, unmarked, mm. without scars, without battles. But we can afford to lose one or two battles. But we cannot lose the war. So it continues. What is the reason for restoring a nation? Some say it is to greatness. Some say it is to benefit a people, but we say it's to fulfill purpose, purpose. and destiny. Yes, Lord. And so the enemy will always fight the purpose for which you were born, the destiny that is upon your life, your marriage, your family, your nation. And it is God who chooses where we were born, the time, the destiny, this piece of rock called Jamaica. And it doesn't matter the means to which you came here, but God makes no mistake. Mm. What some people consider a mistake, mm -hmm. God all the time was behind it for purpose. purpose. And so dearly beloved brethren, no nation is beyond God's restorative purpose. No nation, no matter how vile and wicked, Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrians. And it was stated that they were so wicked when they went to war against their enemies, they would bring back the skulls of their enemies and build a temple to worship their God. That's why Jonah said, no, sir, not me. Me not going down there. They don't deserve God, mercy. to live, yes. to experience God's redemption, God's restoration. They are so much an Edenic people. Mm -hmm. They should be turned away because they practice witchcraft, occultism, cults, you name it, every sort. But that's not how God looks at global redemption, repentance, and restoration. You can't be too wicked not to be under the laser of God. The radar of God. And so every nation is to receive God's grace, mercy, and forgiveness. Why? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever My Lord. believes on him mm. should have everlasting life. Now, there are four principles before we get into restoration. These are principles of repentance taken from, yes, the same chapter, Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. God spoke to Solomon after Solomon dedicated the temple and said, Solomon, if Israel sinned, rebelled, break my law, transgressed against me, and if they would do four things, my God, I would do three. Here they are. If my people, God said, are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. First principle, 
before we get to restoration. God says, humility. Humility. Jesus. Humble yourself. Mm. And that's Hebrews 2 and verse 20. If you would turn quickly to the New Testament passage of Hebrews chapter 2. Let's get there. Hebrews 2 and verse 20. Let's look at it and see. Hebrews 2 and 20 informs us. Not well. Hebrews, Bishop. Not, not 2. Okay, no, 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 no problem. Habakkuk 2. Sorry, we're having some lighting problems going in and out. I don't know if it's affecting you, but it's certainly affecting our visibility and our ability to see. Let's go to the Old Testament book of Habakkuk. We'll come back to Hebrews. But God wants us to know that humility precedes restoration. And it is important that as his people, God's people, this is what the Lord says in Abuka 2, but the Lord is in his holy temple. Because he's in his holy temple, let all the earth keep silent, quiet, Jesus. submit, humble, bow, repent, be bowed over before him. We are reminded before God can do anything with a nation or with a people, we must do what? Humble ourselves. ourselves. Yes. Be bowed down. Yes, Lord. Submit to God and be submitted to each other. Humility begins with man and God vertically. Then humility continues horizontally, man and man, mm -hmm. husband and wife, parents and children, husband to wife, wife to husband, neighbor to neighbor, brother to brother, sister to sister. Practice humility. Find humility. Ask God to remove pride, arrogance, aggression, hostility. When people are humble towards God and towards each other, they don't slay, kill one another, wound one another, sell out one another. We create a more civil and gentler community, society, and family. But when families begin to devour one another, sister kill brother, brother set up sister, mm. uncle kill aunt, My God. parents killing children, children killing parents. That's when humanity begins to devour each other. The Bible says when we do this, the earth comes and vomits us my out. My God, my God. Crying. Mm. Undescribable because of lack of humility. Two, he said, if my people will humble themselves and pray. Mm. There's that valuable word again. Prayer is the foundation. Prayer is the start. Prayer is the progression. And prayer is the ultimate of every ministry. Mm. I would give you scriptures on prayer, but we wouldn't be able to get into them. First Peter chapter five and seven. Matthew chapter six, verses nine and three. St. Luke 22, verses 41 and 42. And Kings 22 and 43. We're gonna go back to that scripture that we might have given to you, and it was an incorrect reference. Don't worry. But let us find First Peter chapter 5 and 7. Does it have anything to say to us about the importance of prayer? First Peter, yes, chapter 5 and verse 7 says this in my Bible, 5 and 7. 
casting down all your care, casting all your cares mm. upon him, for he careth for you. Do you know that this is a prior scripture or a scripture relating to prayer? When we come to God in prayer, we should put all the burden, the weights, yes. the disaffections, mm. the heaviness, the disillusionment, rather than taking it out on each other. I come home from work. I had a rough day at work. So I bring home the work environment. I beat my wife. My wife beat the children. One of the child kicked the cat and the cat bite the dog and the dog bite the cat and the cat bite the rat and the rat bite the cheese. And it goes on and on and on. We all blame each other for the problems we are going through. And sometimes that happens. We take it out on each other. And the house burns down. My Lord. Because both of us mm. are on fire. This is important. First Peter 5, 7. But third, communion stroke fellowship with God. We're yes. talking about if you want restoration, mm. start with repentance. Yes. So the third in this passage, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and what? Seek my face. That seeking of face is deeper than prayer. Come into where God is. Yes. Face to face contact and connection. Mm -hmm. You're now in the house. You're not at the gate. Mm -hmm. You're no longer just in the courts. You have entered into the place that you can touch God and become intimate with God. Mm -hmm. Communion, yeah. stroke, fellowship. Yes. Our common union with God. Mm -hmm. And that is First Chronicles 16 and verse 11. Psalm 27 verse 8. Exodus 33 and verse 11. Psalm 105 and verse 4. And add to the list. 1 Corinthians 12, verses 1 and 3. Take any of them. Let's grab Exodus 33 and 11. What does it say? We're doing a lot of a turning of the pages tonight. But see with me. Exodus 33. Are you there? And let's look at verse 11. We're talking about communion and fellowship with God. That we have reached the third principle mm. of repentance that takes us to restoration. Go ahead. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks mm -hmm. with his friend. Then Moses would return to the camp. But his young aide, Joshua, son of Nun, did not leave the tent. You notice the kind of relationship yes. and fellowship and partnership and companionship mm -hmm. that Moses had with God. Meaning it's possible mm -hmm. as men, we can pursue yes. the hot in pursuit of that same type of relationship. How God mm -hmm. spoke to Moses more than he did face to face with face any face. other human being. My God. Mm. My people that are called by my name must humble themselves, okay. pray, and seek. seek my face. After the seeking of the face level, we can go on to the next. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Those are called by his name in you know, ownership. And then he now talks, would mm. turn from their oh, wicked ways. Jesus. That's repentance. A turning away from. Yes, Lord. Go in the opposite direction. Scripture, Acts 3, verse 19, Romans 12, and verse 2. Acts 3 and 19 is a beautiful scripture. You can, it can almost roll off of your lips that talks about, off of your lips that talks about a time of repentance. So let's look at Acts 3, 19. It says this, repent ye yeah. therefore. Yes. And be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Look at the removal of sin. 
turn, repent, be converted. These are steps that your sins may be blotted out. And for your effort and the times of refreshing yes. shall come upon you. We want that. Four yeah. different principles. Now we are setting ourselves up as a nation. Why is this bloodletting? Why murder? Why these hideous crimes? Yeah. And yet we are noted to be the only place in the world that has Jesus. more churches per square mile mm. than any other place upon the face of the earth. And we attract so much murder, criminality, mm. crime, mm. violence. We are barely 3.5 million people not at war except with ourselves, certainly not with another nation. Oh my God. Yet every year, mm. over a thousand more, not less, die at the hands of our fellow countrymen. Mm. And some of the crimes are so vile and hideous and, 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 mm. and, and pathetic and criminal, mm. Mm, shedding innocent blood. Now, when a nation violates God's law, what does God require of us, of that nation, of that people, in order to be restored? We just looked at four principles that speaks to turning, repentance, humility, prayer, seeking God's face, and turning from our wicked ways. We must admit, what are those wicked ways? that discriminates against God, that causes God to hide his face. Well, I want to point out to us, just in tonight's study, a few principles of restoration. What is one of the greatest cry in the earth in Jamaica? Jesus. For justice. My God. For equality. Hmm. For equity. For fairness. A sense of feeling equal, a sense of justice for everyone, peace and justice. There can be no peace without justice, mm. equality, equity, honesty, fairness My is God. what this word equality mm -hmm. and equity is talking about. Well, the devil loves blood. Satanic altars are maintained by blood. Bloodthirsty demons. Major intersection every time of the year, almost round about the same, where a notorious accident happened. That same spot becomes an altar. And blood is required there by those spirits that are set up to guard that location. The devil knows something about blood. Jesus. And there's something about blood that God honors. Blood speaks. It's either the blood of the righteous, the blood of the innocent, or the blood of the wicked. Where did that start? The unrighteous mm. Cain in Genesis. First mm. slew his brother Abel. And ever since that day, write this down, the spirit of Cain is not just a vagabond spirit. But the spirit of Cain is not just a Roman spirit, but the spirit of Cain seeks what? Blood. Is thirsting for more of the blood of his brother. That's the first time man ever slay man. Cain. And we're talking about Genesis 9, you know, and 6. Mm -hmm. And God says, whosoever Jesus. sheds mm -hmm. man's blood. By right. man, mm -hmm. his blood also required. is required because he violates God's law. And man's blood was never meant to stain the ground. The blood speaks whether of righteous Abel and unrighteous Cain. God put a mark upon him mm -hmm. that none other should do what? None mm -hmm. other should slay him. Mm -hmm. Because he was the first, he should be marked. Jesus. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. operates. Here's Genesis 9 and 6. Whosoever sheddeth man's blood, 
by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image God made he man. In his image, God made he man. No blood that goes down in the earth goes unnoticed by God. My God. I'm not talking animal blood, foul blood. All of those blood have significance, you know. But the greatest of all is the blood of man. And it was never meant to be shed by another man. So there is justice and mm. capital punishment established in every nation. You shouldn't do it and get away with it. You shouldn't kill one and get away with it. So we are looking at the sacredness of innocent blood, but we are looking at what blood does. Blood evokes spirits. Blood speaks in the atmosphere. Blood service altar. Just as the righteous blood of Jesus Christ called God's attention, that when you and I plead the blood of Jesus, Jesus. demon knows the efficacy. Mm -hmm. Demon knows the important time is against us. So we want to give these principles before we finish tonight. Jesus Christ is the restorer. That's where restoration comes from. He came to restore all that Adam lost. Satan is the destroyer. St. John 10.10. 10. So atonement is for when sin mm -hmm. is committed. Without their is the shedding of blood. There can be no atonement for sin. And atonement means at one man, brings mm. us back to into right yes, relationship with God. Yes, Lord. Atonement gives us justice, mm. equity, equality, honesty, fair play, fairness. Mm? So when you understand atonement you'll understand justice and when you understand justice you'll understand the blood and when you understand the blood you will understand mm. justice. justice you can't have one My without God. the other mm. so quickly here are the principles and there are many more at least 14 but I, we will, can only get through these tonight principles that leads to godly repentance My God. blood brings accusation did you know any time blood is shed it speaks of accusation. It wants what? Justice. Yes. It wants revenge. It wants justice to be done. That's why Cain's blood was crying out mm, till Jesus Christ came for the ungodly blood of Cain mm -hmm. or for that righteous blood of Abel to be vindicated, justified. Mm compensated for. Hallelujah. Jesus paid for that. But whenever these things that I'm listing now are evidence in a nation, demons are running wild. It is because of that. One, abortion. The killing of infants, babes. We call it the innocent. Innocent blood. A child that cannot yet defend his or herself. When a nation put sins into law and said nothing is wrong with them, God screams. Jesus. Psalm mm. 94, verse 7. Yes, Quickly, Lord. I know time is against us. Psalm 94, mm -hmm. mm. God is speaking. Look at what's happening in your nation, in my nation, in our nation. We have oh got God. to take responsibility. Yes. Psalm 94 verse 7 says this. Mm. Yet they say the Lord shall not see. Not see. Neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. No it means nothing. He doesn't take any note mm. of how they are killing Jesus. and sacrificing their babies. Yes. Thousands in Jamaica per year, mm. over 23 million and more in America, in America per year, a nation 
of almost 200 million people. The blood weighs in the scales of God's evidence of justice, equity, and mm. honesty. Judge call evil good and good evil. Judge, judge the blood of the innocent creates a device by wicked law to allow demonic spirits to enter the airspace, to possess the land and its inhabitants, to penetrate, infiltrate, saturate the landscape, and to set up demonic spirits and entities over the nation. The air gate, the water Jesus. gate, the land gate, the spirit. The more this happens, mm -hmm. the more spirits. Mm -hmm. God cannot tolerate. He cannot Jesus. close his eyes or turn his back. Number two, mm -hmm. immorality. I didn't say immortality. Immorality. immorality. All types of perverseness, wickedness, evil, sinful demonic practices, depression brings oppression, suppression, mm -hmm. depression, anxiety, stress, worry. Mm -hmm. When you see this in the people, how they conduct themselves, walk, mm -hmm. how they behave, how they settle domestic uh, disputes, mm -hmm. it has to be violence. Not it violent. has to end in blood and murder, one towards another. A man kills his child or kills his wife and takes his child's mm. life, and then kill himself. My Triple God. murder, double murder. No, no, no. When you see these things, it's not just a police matter. Demonic to it power. is mm. demonic. We are fighting spirits yes. quickly. Mm. So we are dealing with cooperative judgment according to Romans 1 and 21. Would you get that for me? Romans 1 and 21. Mm. It ushers in a heightened level of demonic activity. Mm. abortion the killing and slaying of the innocent but immorality mm -hmm. unchecked Romans, Romans 1, 1 verse 21 for although they knew God mm -hmm. they neither glorified him yes. as God nor gave thanks yes. to him but, they, but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened Although they claimed to be wise, mm -hmm. they became fools yeah. and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man mm -hmm. and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts mm -hmm. to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. It goes into sexual impurity. It goes into pleasure making. It goes into demonic practices and activities. Mm. It goes into all sorts of lasciviousness, licentiousness, degrading practices, man with beast and beast with man, woman with woman, man with man, God Jesus. cannot sit by. And mm -hmm. so the other practice now is idolatry. idolatry. Idol, latry, it is the practice of false worship, false God. The other one wants to deface God, mm. deny God. So they set up laws yes. that are ungodly, that once were godly, and they no longer reverence the righteous God. They want the commands men, the commandments out of the school. My they God. want prayer out of the school. Mm -hmm. They want prayer out of the church. Ultimately, yeah. they want God out of the church. Okay. God out of our homes. Mm -hmm. God out of the nation oh that will become an ungodly people. The devil is behind these hideous crimes and murder to create panic. They don't want us to prosper as a people because we have a desire to advance the welfare of the entire human race. False God, hmm? to turn truth into a lie. False worship, anytime you say idolatry, Jesus. it is false worship, mm. untrue worship, unreal worship, the worship of the demonic, 
the worship of the occult, setting up occultic systems and practices and forms of worship and norms mm. that leads to ungodliness. A lot of our musicians, the music they sing, a lot of our festivities mm. and cultural practices every year is to build huge altars My God. all week, sometimes half of a week, mm -hmm. one day, all night till daylight, and to bring down all kinds of mm. musical artists and musical songs and rhythms and set up their own God and gods and defy the true and living God. Carnival, Bacchanalia, all of these spirits opens up the nation to another set of demons, mm. chased, mm. naked. My God. The children, children's carnival, mm -hmm. the costume, mm. wearing nothing, gyrating and whining on each other. It's a worship. Mm. It's a worship. It's yeah. not just people going out to have a good time. My God. Far from Many a good young time. girls get pregnant in carnival, beating. Trinidad, be it in yeah. Brazil, be it in Jamaica, and they never met the fathers. Mm -hmm. Some actually get uh, pregnant by spirit beings as they invite through these gyration mm -hmm. and revelry into their bodies, into their beings. They didn't even know they fall into a trance. And the enemy takes over the airwave through satanic pronouncement. Projection, Jesus. announcement, quickly, mm. covenant breaking spirit. Where people's words are not their bond. You can't agree and nothing they say. You can't follow them. In the olden days, we used to say land over that tree to that tree to that tree and believe it, it held true to form. Thank you didn't God. even need lawyers because people's words, mm. death and life is in the power of the tongue, held and meant something, not anymore, quickly. Hmm? My God. Everything wants to break our judo, Christian mm -hmm. heritage, yes. our godly Christian worldview yes. built on the Bible, the word mm -hmm. of God. No, two, here's the fourth one, oppression of the poor. How many are guilty of oppressing the poor? Those who work for us in our homes, in our schools, Mm. in various places, mm. in our offices, in our companies, and we pay them little and nothing, oppressing the poor. Jesus. How we treat the strangers, the widows, and the mm. orphans. Not just the poor who we see on the street, how we treat the street people, but the people who work to make our homes stable, strong, and our children taken care of. What hours do they go home in the night when everybody else is sleeping? When you come home and you, they can't leave until you are served. Some of these things has brought the judgment of God upon a nation that prevents restoration. I want to give us the final one for tonight. For tonight. This will be the sixth one. Robert. Yes, mm -hmm. the sixth one. Mm -hmm. Innocent blood. It's not just abortion now. It's the attack. Mm. on each other. It's how neighbor treats neighbor. Friend treats friend. Jesus. Family treats family. Some wicked practices in family. Over land, over money, mm. over property, over inheritance. My God. And our hands get bloody. Notice every one of these practices is going down to blood. Mm -hmm. Blood sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Criminality of one kind or another, or we abuse each other, or we violate the law and nothing can be settled. You better believe that we have gotten to a point that our time has run out. But look, intercessors, these are prior positions yes. that we need to come to, to mm. pray, to break. We have to get into a new level of prior, mm. a new cycle of intercession. Yes. Because unless we know how to pray against the mm. spirit of Cain, My God. the spirit of Jezebel, mm. and these extortion and bribery and murder. And unless we know to go into these community and find out what are the strongholds over the community that I live in, the naming of my street, 
the naming of my community, Lizard Town, Frog City, mm. Tel Aviv, Jesus, Lebanon, mm. and the same spirit that prevails in those war-torn mm. places now prevails in where we live. Mm -hmm. We have adapted them Mozambique. the way we name one down there, Mozambique. Our streets, yes. It's in your area. Every mm -hmm. upper town mm -hmm. place has pockets of these places within them. And beloved, Jesus. till we understand that these things can only be dealt with mm. in prayer. My God. And where innocent blood is shed in our community, the righteous will have to stand up and make atonement. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't, then the enemy has made mm -hmm. their own type of diabolic reversal mm -hmm. in atonement. So their altars are service every day with more sinful wickedness. We can't get up and say, my them wickedy. I mean, I watch no more TV. Too much bloodshed. Beloved, mm -hmm. what will the righteous do mm -hmm. when the foundations are destroyed? My God. Psalm 11 and mm -hmm. verse 3. Now, we will never do a teaching and just close out my God, without my God. addressing my God. the portals that are open, mm. the spirit that are hovering over. Mm. Join hands and heart with me, although Jesus. we are in distant places. My God. Pray with me. Father, we repent as Jamaicans for yes. offering the world. My God. An alternate God. My God. An alternate religion. religion. Lord, we have called Selassie a God, that is mm. Jesus Christ incarnate. We have given Selassie to the world. We have mm. given a religion to the world Jesus. called Rasta and a musical anthem called Reggae. Jesus. Culturize the world, market oh, it in Jesus. foreign places, brought them to Jamaica to serve mm. on our turf. So we have opened the windows, the doors, mighty God, Jesus. to wicked, brutal, evil spirits. And we are reaping to the whirlwind what we have sown to the world. We repent. Jesus. We repent, we repent for Lord. the influence of our culture and the yes. rest of the, the world. Yes. And how we have corrupted My other God. nations. And how we have spread Mm. wicked, diabolic music and practices and mm. activities and earn for sports, for money and enrich ourselves and build up our castles in Jesus. various places. We repent. We repent Lord, Lord, we repent for the altars that we have allowed to come into this place where yes. every year we celebrate mm. our cultures and festivities, celebration. My God. And with that, we join with carnival and we bring in other nations My and Lord, other spirits and more gods. Mm. And Lord, we bring in the Spaniards who took. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. The mm. Tianos. And we bring in the British. Mm. Oh, God, who have slain so many. Mm. We put their bodies underground and we throw sugar and honey mm. until anim, uh, ants eat them to death. We repent, Lord. Jesus. Church against church. My God. Spirit of religiosity that we have brought in to subject the people and to control the mm. slaves. Control and mind. Father, church against church. Believer against believer. And rather than uh, complementing each other, we have competed against each other. Jesus. Lord, no wonder so much blood, innocent mm. blood, mm. and the babies that we have killed. My and God. the slaves that we have killed My God. take on their land. Lord, this sin rest upon Shabai. Jamaica. Yes, baby, 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 we son. repent tonight mm. and we pray for restoration. Mm. And we pray that these altars that we have raised up be mm. broken down, be brought low. Jesus. And that the altar of Jesus Christ would speak mm. to every demonic and satanic altar. Mm. Lord, that have deprived us of true wealth. And has cursed Jesus. the land that is so blessed, Lord. My God. We are blessed in crops. We are blessed mm. in agriculture. We are blessed in mm. farming. We are blessed. Whatever we put in the soil grows and matures. Oh, and yet, Jesus. Lord, we have not seen the wealth mm. of our nation. My God. God, so many have come and have made millions and have become millionaires. Jesus. But the people of the soil, hey. the soil seem to speak against them. 
Jesus. Tonight we come. Yes, Lord. And we remind you, God, of yes, redemption. Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us to humble our hearts. Oh, Jesus. Help us, oh God, to pray, to seek your face, mm. and to turn from our wicked ways. And Lord, we ask, mm. open up our churches again. And we repent of these mm. six areas that mm. we have made mention of tonight mm. that have laid wicked altars in our land. Mm. And some of the official, the, the oppression that we feel, some of the rejection that we feel, Jesus. some of the ungodly spirits that are around, mm. oh God, and we see operating and functioning. Jesus. Betrayal. Jesus. Oh God. Oppression, suppression, my depression, God. My God. anger. We repent this night. Yes, Lord. And we ask that you would come in our lives. Yes, Lord. In our homes, yes, in our Lord. families. Yes, Lord. And break down any and every mm. diabolic altars. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Jennifer, name. Jennifer, lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Lord, as the cry of the blood of those that have been murdered, my God, uh, blood has gone into the soil uh, of our nation. Lord, we speak tonight yes. and we petition yes, you, Lord. my God, in the heavens. In the heavens. We call for the blood of Jesus Christ. My God, the blood uh, that Never Makatara be Ah, loses its power. The eternal blood. Oh my God. We call out to the blood of Jesus. Ah, to override the cry of the blood of the innocent. Yes, Lord. We make repentance. Jesus. Ah, we call out to the blood of Jesus. The blood of my Jesus. My God, we have redemption through the blood of Jesus. Hey, Lobo -bo my God, we have the forgiveness of sins hey. as we come bowing before extortion. you, oh God. Yes. So we bow our hearts tonight as Depression. intercessors, my God. Yes, and we stand in the gap. In the we God. say, oh my God, oh, oh, God, as we cry out uh, on behalf of the innocent blood, uh, the blood which has gone into Jamaica Jesus. and has stained uh, its portals. Uh, my God, uh, oh, Shadabaketa, let oh, the blood be silenced tonight uh, through the blood of Jesus silence Christ, oh Lord. Uh, silence the blood. Uh, silence my God, uh, let the enemy has no hold. Oh, let God. the enemy the has, uh, my God. Uh, no place to stand nothing on which to stand because your blood purifies your blood washes clean your blood cleanses sanctifies make holy in the name of Jesus we put the blood of Jesus of our homes now tonight yes Lord to silence the cry of anger, hey, malice cut, 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 in cut, our cut. homes, yes, the Lord. cry of divorce and separation. In the name My of God, Jesus. Uh, oh, Shaddai, domestic violence. Yes. Cut it off from our in homes. In the name of Cut Jesus. it off uh, incest, from our lives. Rape, uh, incest, depravity. rape, uh, all manner of yes. uncleanness, uh, sexual perverseness. Uh, hey, cut, cut it off. Uh, all cut it of off. idolatry. Cut, cut it, it off. off. Let the blood of Jesus. Uh, cut it hey, off. Fataya, Sabra, Ketia, Sapre, Kepa, in the name of Jesus. Speak on our behalf tonight. Uh, in the name, in the name, of, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Let the cry of the blood in the you. land be revoked in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Go back. Yay, Kataba. Go back. Break your influence. He broke your influence. Cut off your demonic he influence. Silence in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My God, my God. The blood of Jesus uh, is above all. Uh, yes. My God, my God. Ah, uh, uh, he gave himself as a ransom mm. for many. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, that the price has been paid. Ah, uh, and our the nation can go free uh, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, so we call our people to repentance tonight. Uh, we call our people back to prayer. 
We call our people back to humbling of themselves. Yes. We call our people back, my the God, blood, the blood to of seeking Jesus. of your face, yes. to communion and fellowship. Mighty we call God. our people back to turn, Mighty my God. God, from evil ways, evil practices, e. uh, pronouncements of yes. judgment on one another. Call back our people, my God, uh, to love and harmony in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Father, name. And Father, as we close tonight, we yes, cut Lord. off the spirit of Cain. Yes. Murder. My God. Vagabond. Mm. The spirit that questioned God. Am I my brother's keeper? My God. The mm. spirit that confronts God. Life. The spirit of death. We call that vagabond to account. You will not come among us. You will not reign in our family. Wherever mm -hmm. across this nation that spirit of Cain is traversing mm. and has lodged and dislodged and caused mm. pain and hurt and suffering and generational curses mm. and raise up satanic altars where the young girls were raped, where young boys were molested, mm. where women was abused mm. uh, and experienced violent threatenings and activities against their homes and their lives. Mm. We cut it off from this nation in the name of Jesus Christ of my Nazareth. My God, my God. Raise your hand with me. Yes. We cover our home. Yes. Your home. Yes. We break the family curse over mm. our family from slavery down to us. We mm. said no longer. We cut you off at mm. this righteous link in our family. Yes. We said after us, My everyone God. will turn to God My and their God. name shall be established and shall be called righteous. Yes. In the name of Jesus, righteous sickness, breath. disease My in God. the body, yeah. apathy, Go. murder hate. My God. In Jesus' name, weakness, heart mm. attack, all form of sinusitis, in the name, blood disease, we cut Jesus. you off. Heart activities, yes. activities that are negative, that are death threatening to human existence. Jesus. We render you powerless in Jesus' My name. God. My God. Now for the benediction. Uh, the Lord bless, bless you. you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon mm. you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance and grant you his shalom. And may his blood protect you by day and by night, here and now, mm. and on into eternity. And the saints say, Amen. Amen. Bless you, Pastor Howard, yes. for your birthday today. We no, celebrate no. with you. His 37th anniversary. Oh, 37. <laughs> Wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Pastor Howard. You and, and Lady Claudette. Lady Claudette. Yes. God bless you yes. all. Now, now. in Jesus' name. Yes. Bless you, saints. We love you. We appreciate you. And before you. we go, I also saw uh, Minister Lauren Barrett. You should log on to Zoom um, in our next broadcast. And um, we'll have you pray along with us for the people. Minister Lauren Barrett, all the way in California. God Southern bless California. you. God bless you. God, God bless, bless you, saints. You. We love you. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you. Amen. Greet one another. Yes. When next we meet, we'll be in the same place, praising God in heavenly places. Thank God, and we bless you bless richly you. tonight. Amen. Amen.